Happy Friday, Team LCPS. It's time for one of my favorite parts of the week, our Team LCPS MVP Awards. The month of October is designated across the U.S. as Anti-Bullying Month. We will continue our kindness focus throughout the month of October, and we will be kicking off our kindness campaign in just a few short days with the announcement of our Kindness to the Carolinas campaign. Throughout October, we will be collecting money and supplies to send to six schools throughout North and South Carolina. All six schools are dealing with the damage and effects left behind by Hurricane Florence. This campaign is how we are putting kindness and good citizenship into action. Please consider donating to the cause as we look out for our neighbors in the Carolinas. More details to come with this over the next few days. Also, I want to say great job to our schools for celebrating Farm to School Week this past week. I appreciate all of the teachers and staff members who are working together to provide unique learning opportunities for our students, as well as healthy meals in the cafeteria. And great job to Louisa County High School for hosting Democracy Day on Tuesday. We had a great turnout as our students learned how the election process works in this great nation. Thanks to all who joined us to participate and thank you to everyone who organized the event. Okay, it's time. Let's hand out some MVP awards to some folks who are demonstrating our non-negotiables of support, high expectations, accountability, consistency, positivity, and the grit to get the job done right. We had over 400 nominations this week. Quite impressive. So we're gonna start this week with our community MVP, and this week, our winner is Ms. Nancy Cracky. Ms. Cracky is always volunteering to help out at events at Trevigans Elementary School. For example, when we visited the Eagles today, she was helping out in the library during Grandparents Day. That's the type of person she is. So she helps out so many people. It was fitting just to honor her in front of the entire crowd at TES today. Ms. Cracky, it takes a community for a school division to succeed and it takes selfless people like you. And we certainly appreciate all you do for TES and Team LCPS. Enjoy this MVP award. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our classified MVP and this week's winner is from our awesome technology department, Ms. Sandy Carroll. Ms. Carroll is one of our technicians and she's always ready to help out on a moment's notice, no matter what the need might be. At a recent Google training session, she went above and beyond for providing lunch to all of the attendants, as well as helping out in many other ways. Ms. Carroll, thanks for helping out at a moment's notice and always being willing to make the difference. I appreciate how you always go above and beyond and greet folks with a smile. Enjoy this MVP award. You are awesome. Now it's time to announce our certified MVP. And to find this week's winner, we head over to Louisa County High School to find Ms. Christina Winger. Ms. Winger teaches world history at Louisa County High School and she always helps out on various activities such as the Safe Schools Task Force and it's her hard work that's earned her this week's MVP award. One nomination said Ms. Winger is the personification of collaboration. Whether it's co-planning library lessons together or when she stops by the library to help with events, I know I can always count on her, said one nomination. It's an awesome feeling when you know you can depend on someone and Ms. Winger you're a great team player, and you definitely exemplify one of our non-negotiables and support each and every day. Thanks for your hard work, and enjoy this MVP award. And finally, we honor our student MVP of the week, and this week we head over to Thomas Jefferson Elementary School for Mr. Holden Picari. Holden is a fourth grader at TJES, and nominations for him say he is a proud patriot. One nomination said Holden is a smart and caring student, and he's always willing to help out others, and he's always on task and very respectful. Great job, Holden. It sounds like you've got being a good citizen down pat. You're a great representative for TJ and for the entire school division. Enjoy your student MVP award. To Ms. Cracky, Ms. Carroll, Ms. Winger, and Holden Bacari, thank you. Thank you for all each of you do for our school division each and every day. It has been a pleasure to recognize you this week as our Team LCPS MVP winners. These individuals show that to achieve greatness, you must be willing to get your hands dirty, to do things that are hard, and to take the time to go above and beyond to get the job done right. They show truly that greatness is in the dirt. As always, thanks to all of you out there who submitted a Team LCPS MVP award nomination this week. And if you were nominated to receive an MVP award, you'll be receiving a card in the mail detailing why someone 
thinks you are making a positive impact on Team LCPS. To submit nominations for next week, click on the link below this video. So as we head into the weekend, remember, be on the lookout for our launch of the program to help our friends in the Carolinas. Have a great weekend, all. We are Team LCPS.